This time last year, we held the Memorial Gates annual ceremony at the Memorial Gates. How the world has changed over the last year, with a global pandemic, a health crisis, and an economic crisis that has reverberated around the world. And here we are holding this virtual commemoration event. At the outset, let me thank the Royal British Legion for their support and their partnership with the Memorial Gates. We are this time this year celebrating contribution of women. Just look at women today. Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal Princess Anne has been promoted to the rank of General in the Army and Air Chief Marshal in the RAF. Many women from the Commonwealth enlisted in the Women's Auxiliary Air Force, the WAF, the Auxiliary Territorial Service, the ATS, and served in Britain during the Second World War. India had its own Women's Auxiliary Corps, India. Women in the WAF were involved in telephony, telegraphy, interception of codes and ciphers, including at Bletchley Park. They were mechanics, engineers, electricians, and fitters for airplanes. They undertook and interpreted aerial photographs and provided weather reports. Many members of the WAF worked in radar control systems as reporters and plotters. And their work was vital during the Battle of Britain and later in guiding night fighter airplanes against German bombers. Probably the most famous Commonwealth member of the WAF was Nur Un Nisa Inayat Khan George Cross, also known as Nur Inayat Khan and Nora Baker, whose family were from India, who served in the Special Operations Executive as an SOE agent under the codename Madeline, she became the first female wireless operator to be sent from the UK into occupied France to aid the French resistance during World War II. Inayat Khan was captured after being betrayed and executed at Dasha concentration camp. She was posthumously awarded the George Cross for her service in the SOE, the highest civilian decoration in the United Kingdom. And Noor's name is inscribed in the roof of the pavilion of the Memorial Gates. It is sacrifices like Noor, service like her and the women that we celebrate and commemorate. The five million individuals who served in World War I and II from South Asia, Africa, and the Caribbean. Without their service, without their sacrifice, we wouldn't enjoy the freedoms we have today. We are grateful because they gave their today for our tomorrow. We thank you. We will always remember you and we will always be inspired by you. The Royal British Legion is delighted to be standing with Memorial Gates Council to mark Commonwealth Day this year. On this day, we reflect and remember the many men and women from across the Commonwealth and Nepal who served in the First and Second World Wars. And we also acknowledge the many men and women of Commonwealth descent who are serving in the British Armed Forces today. This year, Commonwealth Day coincides with International Women's Day. And we pay special tribute to the women of the Commonwealth who have given so much to the defense of our nation. And as we reflect on the challenges and difficulties that we are facing at the moment as a nation, we should also remember how much we can achieve when we work together. As we remember the many lives that were lost from Asia, Africa and the Caribbean to preserve the freedoms we enjoy today. We honour them and preserve their memory. The story of women in the British Army has been a journey of continuous service and ever increasing contribution. That contribution traces its roots back to the early days of nursing support in the Crimean War, the Women's Auxiliary Army Corps in World War I, the Auxiliary Territorial Service in the Second World War, and the Women's Royal Army Corps. In 1992, women were integrated into non-combat arms and more recently into all roles and hence ranks in the British Army, including infantry and special forces, an important milestone for equality and inclusion. 
That golden thread of women in British Army campaigns for 150 years continues today with women confidently fulfilling their potential and taking up more leadership positions than ever before. The coinciding events of International Women's Day and Commonwealth Day offers an ideal opportunity to reflect and celebrate the service and contribution of female and Commonwealth soldiers through that journey of service. Currently, women make up about 12% of the Army and over 4,000 soldiers are from a Commonwealth background, including nearly 400 women. These officers and soldiers bring not only the knowledge and skills which any modern army needs, they also bring the richness and variety that is our Commonwealth. The sense of belonging permeates defence as we respect, value and understand colleagues from different backgrounds, all of whom share our values, the values of the British Army. At this important ceremony at our memorial gates, we reflect on the past, but we look to the future. As the Army adapts to changing demands and the ever more complex threats to our national security, soldiers from the Commonwealth, both male and female, have a vital role to influence the Army's work to evolve. I stand here today to express the British Army's gratitude to the five million Commonwealth citizens whose predecessors fought in the two world wars and who continue to add such valuable service today. It is an honour to be present, uh, to be able to speak and pray at this special ceremony to commemorate the sacrifice and contribution of five million volunteers from Africa, the Caribbean and the Indian subcontinent who fought with Britain during the two world wars and in other conflicts in recent time and in the more distant past. It is humbling to think of the cost on lives and communities across the Commonwealth of those who gave so much for the causes of freedom and justice. So many families and communities were left bereft, broken and traumatized by the wars which engulfed the world during the 20th century. These gates represent both the cost of the past, but also the gift of the future. We have traveled a long way since the end of the Second World War, both as a country and as, a co as Commonwealth nations. The history of the British Empire is a complicated and contested one, but there is no doubt that the enormous sacrifice of this shared military service is one of the foundations that bound people together in the Commonwealth, the contemporary fellowship of nations that has grown out of the British Empire experience. We remember today soldiers of all faiths and in their collective service, we see a pointer towards what is possible for people of very different and sometimes conflicting backgrounds. We also celebrate the continued service of the Commonwealth citizens in the UK armed forces today and the multi-faith chaplaincy that is so, it is now established and accepted as part of the British military life. Freedom never comes cheaply. Jesus said, greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for one's friends. Britain has always gone to war with our Commonwealth friends in modern history. And the Commonwealth is now one of the greatest engines of securing peace and prosperity based on this shared sacrifice. The challenge for all of us is to ensure that our future is indeed greater than our past and to continue to give thanks for the sacrifice of those who have made it possible. So let us pray today for the soldiers of all faiths and in their collective service, giving thanks for the Commonwealth's vision to be one family with shared values and for the continued service of the Commonwealth citizens in the UK armed forces today. Let us give thanks for the faithful stewardship of Her Majesty the Queen. And let us pray that God continue to grant her blessing, wisdom and support. We thank you, Father, for your image and likeness that is equally bestowed on all humanity. Build bridges of hope and common cause in all our people to the benefit of all, 
and the honour of your name. Amen. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the setting of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for there today we gave our tomorrow. <laughs>